Hello and a warm welcome again to Borgate Andrology. Now in today's video we're going to talk about penis enlargement surgery possible results. What is possible from this particular operation? Well you know uh, the results of penis enlargement surgery in the main are very predictable. We know the parameters which are possible in terms of outcome. It's, it is possible to increase both the length of the penis and the thickness of the penis at the same time. About 90% uh, of all our patients will have length and girth surgery, uh, so-called, done together. Uh, but it is possible just to lengthen the penis or just to have the penis thickened. Uh, but most patients do tend to get both done at the same time. Now, the lengthening part of the surgery is called a ligamentosis surgery. Ligamentosis surgery. This is the division of the suspensory ligament. By dividing this ligament, uh, the urologist can enable the penis to slide forward and hang to a lower position, giving the appearance of length gain. In around 95% of patients, we know that this, this extra length is likely to be somewhere between one and two inches more. Between one and two inches more. So almost all patients uh, get a length gain of, 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 that, uh, of that amount. Now, what's really important to know is that this extra length gain is only visible in the flaccid length, the soft length of the penis. The erect length in this part of the surgery remains unchanged. So guys who have their penis lengthened with ligamentosis surgery typically say things like, well, you know, when I go to the gym and I'm changing with other guys, I'm so embarrassed or uh, you know, um, playing sports and so on, or going to the beach. You know, if you, if you have um, a lack of confidence in your flaccid penis size, then this can be a good option, providing that you understand that it will not change erect length. So lengthening surgery for around 95% of patients, an extra one to two inches. The other 5% either get a bit less than one inch or a bit more than two inches. Now, in terms of girth, uh, normally with a ligamentosis surgery, the girth aspect is done with a fat transfer. That's taking fat from the belly or the inner thighs, where the best quality fat is, and injecting it into the penis to thicken it. Before it's injected into the penis, the fat goes through a purification process that removes blood, dead cells and oil from the fat first before it's injected. This makes the fat much easier to work with. In terms of girth increase, well, uh, initially, how the penis looks on day one after a fat transfer is not how the penis is going to look. Why? Because in the beginning, you'll have a lot of fat in the penis. We put in the maximum amount of fat there that your penis will safely take because we know that around 30 to 50% of this fat will absorb in the first eight weeks or so. This is a natural uh, physiological process that you cannot prevent. But even allowing for this fat absorption, most patients get girth increases around about an inch maybe more, depending on the initial absorption rate. So there you go. That is, that is, oh, those are the um, predictable results for penis enlargement surgery. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you have, please do click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos from Morgate Andrology, please subscribe. But that's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Moorgate Andrology very soon. But until then, bye for now.